Hey guys, it's Dan from Umbrella Bird here again with the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Let's just hop right in. Alright, so last time we were actually very fortunate. We managed to defeat Satan with Eve, as you can see up there in the corner. The, all the different symbols. I believe the heart is getting rid of Mom's heart. The star is the boss rush room, uh, which we somehow managed to uh, managed to get to. And the upside down cross there is beating Satan. Uh, as I said last time, I wanted to do a run with Azazel as we finally unlocked him in the last playthrough, doing three deals with the devil in a single run, and uh, we're just going to hop right in. So, Azazel is one of the new characters to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and he is relatively overpowered compared to the other ones. Uh, it's not going to show any items there, but... Let's see here. He has kind of a, a shorter, uh, short range version of Brimstone, which does a shitload of damage. He also starts out with the Black Hearts, which, uh, which means that every, uh, every other time he takes damage, you get a free room. Uh, Flight is also a very, oh man, I hate this thing. There we go. Flight is also relatively overpowered because it lets you... What's this? The big fan? Yeah. Alright, not a bad item. But, uh, Flight lets you grab items that would normally be inaccessible. Like, these bombs would be inaccessible if that first one hadn't blown up. We had, a. There we go. We had, a Tinted Rock there. Anyway. Let's deal with those. Shit. There we go. Alright, who are we fighting? Larry Jr. <laughs> As you can see, huge difference between what Azazel can do and what Eve did in our last playthrough. <laughs> that is growth hormones too, isn't it? So we got HP up, we got speed up, and we got damage up. All on the first floor. <laughs> Off to a good start. We'll also be able to go in here. Uh, gonna do it. Nothing really noteworthy. Let's see what's in here. Um, this is the best friend. We'll take it. <laughs> Just had to grab that. So yeah, so I'm expecting us to easily get to the boss rush room on this playthrough if not get to Satan once more. Let's clear out this poop. Oh, we also have a uh, tinted rock there in the corner. There we go. Alright, what did we get? Soul heart and a key. Come on. Don't really know what uh, what else I'm supposed to talk about in terms of Azazel. He's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, something good. Okay, it's not good, but it's not bad either. Could be much worse, like a stat down. Yeah, so Azazel is certainly one of the uh, one of the new characters I've enjoyed just because he is so overpowered. Uh. Especially with uh, Binding of Isaac, you know, some runs, uh, you can kind of accept that they're challenging, that they're difficult, but uh, sometimes you just want to feel like, uh, was it? It's the same premise as like Prototype and games like that. Like, you know, they could be difficult, but sometimes the gamer just wants to be overpowered and destroy shit, and as to sell is sort of the Binding of Isaac's answer to that. Ooh. That's mom's knife. I th think we can pick that up. It might just take care of some of our soul hearts, though. I'm gonna try. Yep. Ah. You know, I've seen synergies with brimstone, and I was kind of hoping for the same thing. Nope. Still shitty, shitty item. <sighs> that was a mistake. I know, I know there are some YouTubers that swear by this item. Mom's Knife is 
probably one of the most polarizing items in the game. I've heard people talk about it as if it's the best thing available, because again, it... Like, look at this, it's just one shot, one kill. But... I don't know, I, I hate it. Just because it's a, it's a charge-up item, and on top of that, it has this nasty habit of missing. When it's least convenient. I'll try and point it out when it happens. How did I not get hit by any of that? Again, I've seen synergies though with... Ooh, Stigmata. Still kind of upset that uh, I picked up this... This item. But if we can get Brimstone, I've seen synergies with that where it just becomes like a huge beam of... A huge beam of knives and we'd have to deal with a charge shot. We'd have to deal with a charge shot anyway. Uh, let's see what's in here. See, now what's this? I want to get this just to see what it is. Sharp plug charged with blood. I have no idea what that does. Is it like, when we kill something, it charges? I just want to test this. No. Hmm. Here we go. Finished off. Maybe we'll get. Really? No, uh, no deal with the devil room? That's surprising. I was gonna say maybe we'll get brimstone in this one, but, uh, nothing popped up. Something good in here? You know what? Screw it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! Let's deal with this guy. Uh, I didn't think that would reach us. See, to me, Mom's knife here is like the equivalent of uh, the sniper rifle for the Binding of Isaac. It can be really, really, really good, and you can like one-shot things with it if you have the accuracy and the luck to hit them. Uh, I remember, uh, one of the challenge runs I did in my other save file, one of the, uh, one of the challenges is, was it Head Trauma, and in Head Trauma, I'm probably gonna do it at some point, but Head Trauma, you have a whole bunch of tiers that orbit around you, and they do minimum damage, we haven't gotten the, you know what, let's go in, anyway. Bam. But, uh, they do minimal damage, and the whole... The whole objective of the challenge run is to get through it anyway. Well, that was pointless. Oh, shit. And I remember I was having a really good run, and this was like the second last attempt of this challenge run. The, f the last one being where I finally beat it. And in this this run through, uh, I managed to find Mom's Knife, and I thought, okay, well, maybe it'll change all of my tears to orbiting knives around me. Nope, it just changed it so that instead of having a bunch of tears flying around me, this one knife would just do spirals around me instead, which was not useful in the slightest. Still hoping for Brimstone. We got the pentagram though, which isn't bad. What's our what's our damage at? Not like it matters. Almost maxed out. Uh sure. No, nothing again. I'm trying to remember what the uh, what the other wave is after this. Is it the night? Yes. See like right there. If uh, if you guys Saw that, the knife went through him, but it did no damage whatsoever. There we go. Anything good in here? Take the key. Oh, I thought I would hit him. Stuff like that, too, is also why I don't like Mom's knife. Ooh, Cricket's head. That is a huge damage up. Yeah, we are definitely maxed out now. 
Again, not like it matters. I'm pretty sure Mom's knife already does max damage. But, uh... It's nice to see stats change. Ooh. Grab this, too. Nice. Beautiful. So even though we've picked up this item... Ugh! It went through him again! Come on. Oh, there's a tinted rock right here. Is that good? That's fine. Alright. And there we go. Bomb. Ooh. I'm definitely gonna have to pick this up. So, the prayer card gives you an eternal heart every time you use it. And, oh fuck. I know this has... Oh, we unlocked the parasite. I might keep Tammy's head instead of the prayer card, because we don't really need all that health, and Tammy's head, I'll show you guys in a second, it actually has great synergy with Mom's knife because of that. It turns all the tears that would fly out from Tammy's head into knives that deal max damage. On top of that, you can use it on... or you can use it in every room. Uh, we'll see what's in here. I don't even think this is necessary, but whatever. And then we'll put the rest into here because we really need to start donating on this on this save file. There we go. All right, who are we facing? The gate. There we go. We picked up the placenta. I'm actually curious for what the regeneration... Uh, sorry, for those of you who didn't notice, the benefits of picking up the placenta... Here we got our HP up. Uh, is HP up and... And regeneration. And I've noticed the regeneration before. It's like every... It's a half a heart every once in a while. But I'm wondering, is it for every certain number of enemies that you kill... Or is it if you have like a half full heart container, it will randomly charge it up to full? Oh shit. Well, we got a black heart there. Ah, oh, fuck. Here we go. Oh, what? Yeah, blast damage. It's okay, could be better. Oh, we missed with every one of them. Okay. Got a key. What? There we go. Um, if I... Oh, shit. Here, won't even try that there. Let's try again. There we go, we got a soul heart. Don't want to deal with that. Or that. Uh, what floor are we on? Depths 2 already, holy shit. After 11 minutes. See, so Azazel is really overpowered. I guess Mom's knife is too. Come on, Brimstone! Ah, the Pact. Do we really need more damage? What's our damage at? It's already maxed. <laughs> I feel like picking it up just because. Um, no, we're fine. We are going to do the boss rush room. Hopefully there's something good in here. Ooh, Pisces. Oh, Cancer, sorry. That's HP up, and it's a chance every, uh, on every hit to protect us with a shield. Come on. I want to kill that guy before he shits all over the place. I should have saved that. You know, it seems like every time I mention something when I'm recording, the reverse happens. 
Uh, I know last episode I said I had a really good run through with uh, with Eve, and I hadn't been able to replicate it since. And as I said that, I managed to do everything that I had done on my other save file with Eve in the recording, albeit without unlocking Guppy, which is even more amazing in my opinion. Uh, and in this one, I said I dislike Mom's knife, and it is really turning the uh, turning the battle around for us. Wait a minute, I already used uh, Tammy's head. Did did it recharge after we beat the other bosses? It is! It's recharging as we're fighting. Holy shit. Look at that. I didn't realize the 9 volt would do that for items that only take up a room. I thought we would have to wait to pick up something that actually took more than a single room to notice a difference. What the hell hit me there? There we go, monster 2 down. Let's take care of Gish. I stab at thee. Widow is down. Where's Pin now? Come on, Pin. There he is. Right to the face. Let's get rid of the husk. Have a hollow. Ah, bloat. My old nemesis, he still manages to hit me. There he is, he's down. Where's the heart now? Heart's down. Oh shit. Let's get rid of death. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Didn't even have a chance to unleash his horse. Man, we just blitzed through this. Look at this. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Got him. And we unlock the nail. I don't know what the nail does. And we have the mulligan. I can't remember if it's the mulligan or infestation. Which is sort of... I remember I created in one playthrough. It was like a pseudo uh, guppy where every couple of shots I would have uh, flies come out of me. And we are going to unlock this. Two of spades. I was hoping that would take out more of them. So we wouldn't have to deal with the breakup here. There we go. Man, holy shit. Still max damage. We are 15 minutes in and in the utero. This is the fastest I've ever gone through this. There we go. Oh shit. I didn't see the the other shadow. Is that it? No. Oh fuck. Uh, what's this now? Full health. Great to know that's in the rotation. And another soul heart. Another soul heart there. Let's go back after we pick up these bombs. Oh, fuck. gotten a little closer to them before we use Tammy's head. Oh, fuck. Oh, bugger. There we go. Anything in the poop? No. Doesn't look like it. Alright, who are we fighting? Daddy Longlegs. <laughs> and we're done. Really? No, uh, no deal with the devil room. That's weird. 
still, uh, still hoping for brimstone at some point. Oh, I thought I could get in there. Alright. Not bad. Lemon party. Are you a wizard? Doesn't affect us because we're not using tears anymore. And yeah, 48 hour energy. Kind of irrelevant since Tammy's head recharges so fast. So quickly. There we go. Gurglings are down. And I almost wish we had the, uh, the chest unlocked at this point because I feel like fighting a boss in every room would be really easy <laughs> with our current setup. Ooh. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep that. I'd prefer to have the soul hearts. Ah, oh, what the hell. Whatever. Whatever. Let's just deal with these things. There we go. go. More gurglings. Not going to be an issue for us. Either of those. Okay. Uh, so this is pretty much GG at this point. I can't imagine us having any difficulties with any of the bosses to the point where we lose the run. That being said, I've really been eating my words in the past three playthroughs. So... There we go. Huh. Really? We didn't get, uh... That's weird. We didn't get Satan? Alright, I guess that's it. Uh, that was a really quick playthrough. As I mentioned earlier, Azazel is really overpowered. Uh, not to mention the fact that we got Mom's knife, which, again, I, I'm not that uh, not that big on it, but it, it really pulled through for us. Um, for some reason, we didn't get the Devil. We didn't take any damage against Mom's heart, however. I'm kind of confused as to why that didn't work. But, uh, whatever. It was another success. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. We have Transcendence, and we unlocked the Solar System Challenge, which is awful, by the way. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.